I've always sought to make my personal work very individual. I didn't want to copy any of artists. I want to build up my own unique form. I'm very keen on meditation and uh, the subconscious mind, so my art, I suppose, in a, um, a description of my art form would be surrealist. Um, my favourite would be one called The Betrothed. That's uh, an image of um, freedom. It's dedicated to my fiance, uh, Jill. It's got very deep reds and it's like on the outer side of the picture um, there's red and black as if it's been cast off and a pure white, she's wearing pure white obviously to symbolise the purity of um, marriage. It's also depicting, a lot of people call it a fairy um, or a flower. So that's deliberate in some ways, not the fairy aspect of it, but the actual bloom of a flower like as if it's open, wide and ready to take um, the next step. Um, the figure slightly turning so you can't depict a, a facial image but I think you can depict through the body language the statement that the picture is trying to make. Right now. There's another one here um, called The Ghost. It's, um, it's a picture of two circles just splitting apart. I find that that is um, a division, the division departure between life and death um, with a very ghostly face in the middle. Now, the ghostly face was in the painting. Um, it wasn't deliberately put there. I highlighted it, obviously brought it out more, but it's in the painting, so that's why I called it a ghost. Um, it's a picture built up on at least 15 layers of paint, scraped back with razor blades and sandpaper to get different contrasting tones. It's a particular style I like, because you can get depth and a certain range of colors and hues coming through that are very sharp, but also blend into the out of background. It's very fiery in the middle, um, as if the division isn't, um, I see it's, it's a, a reasonably awkward division within the circles, um, hence very red and oranges symbolising uh, an end or a change.